Hi, Sirius here, back on Distance Incremental Videos, Episode 2, and it looks like I have gone 18 trillion meters, which is enough to unlock automation. So I have E4 scraps, I'm getting 0.34 per second, and 1200 intelligence. So I can purchase the rank bot for 10 scraps, and the tier bot for 50 scraps. So I think I'll just do that. And boom, there is two achievements. Actually, I got, I've gotten a lot of achievements here. I'm getting achievements everywhere. Um, there's unlock automation, unlock rank bot, and unlock tier bot. This is rocket gain is increased by 10%. Um, scrap and intelligence gain are increased by 50%. And then reach 5,000 scraps. Intelligence gain is doubled. So yeah, that's a lot of achievements there. I also got this one. And this one, reach rank 12, acceleration is 80% higher, and then reach tier 4. So, look, yeah, I, I'm, I'm tier 4. I probably should just start ranking up and then try and try to get as many rockets as possible. So, it looks like even, like, I could probably get all the way up to rank 13, but I'm not sure if rank 13 is really all that worth it. I think I'll just try to gain a bunch of rockets here, because... I'm going to be able to get quite a lot of them. So, yeah, 11 rockets. This also gives me another achievement. Um, why fly once when you can fly 10 times? Reach 10 rockets. That means rocket gain is increased by 10%. So, yeah, that's it's pretty powerful. And I think with all of the automation stuff, I should be able to pretty easily gain rockets. This formula is now um, log squared. So this will definitely help increase... Um, like, you know, like the distance by maybe like 10 times or or perhaps more than that. So, yeah, it looks like I keep all my scraps. I can open up rank bot and tier bot for improvements. So, I see. So, the interval is two, is four seconds. And the magnitude is, is how many upgrades the, per the robot can purchase at once. Interesting. So, I should definitely um, start... Start trying to increase it, like maybe like this. This, is, this looks good. It's now every one second, or even 800 milliseconds, and then just its magnitude is five. So yeah, that that looks pretty good. And then this, the tier bot, is probably about the same thing. Probably magnitude five and interval 1.67 seconds. So I'm down to 14, 74 intelligence, gaining 0 0.025 per second, and yeah, I'm. I'm Rank 11, tier 3, I'm close to tier 4, and that will definitely help things. Or maybe I can just get a bunch of rockets. Um, I sort of want to be tier 4, but I guess it may be better just to gain these rockets, because I can reset my rockets to gain one rocket fuel. And th that boosts the effects of rockets by, let's see, 3%, and it adds just 0 0.5 additional rockets their effect that isn't that isn't very powerful i don't think that's very powerful i mean there is rocket gain is increased by another five percent here but that seems like a little bit of a letdown i mean i, I once i start gaining rockets again i could easily gain more well i can't easily gain more rocket fuel because what that's just gonna do it i need 125 rockets so yeah, it's, it looks like it may take a little bit to start getting more rockets, but I guess that's okay. Um, I guess I'll just sort of wait for the... I mean, there's not much I can do with the intelligence. I'm not really sure what I do with my scraps. I mean, it exists, but I don't know what it's really all that useful for. So, I should definitely rank up to maybe around... somewhere around 10... And that should definitely help things. I barely need to click this button anymore because it's just, it's just doing it automatically. I mean, I guess I can save a second or so by clicking this, but it's not really... It doesn't save that much time. And, yeah, I can reach rank 8 here. I think yeah, this one's powerful. Or maybe it's not. I can only gain zero rockets. Uh, okay, I, I, okay I'll, I'll rank up to 10... I don't like how the rocket fuel resets your rockets. Like, it should just cost that many rockets. But whatever. That's what it does, so... I guess I have to deal with that. 
not exactly sure how many rockets I want to go for. I may just deal with one, but maybe I can get two with all of the achievement effects. And yeah, I need to reach one light year to unlock time reversal. So I wonder, I wonder looking at this reward, the reward is time goes by 1% faster. So that could be very useful. And these achievements are just get rocket fuel. The reward is acceleration is 80% higher here. Let's see what these are. Uh, more, yeah, more stuff I do not know what it actually does. What is this? Go at least 10. Um, it lo looks like all of these are just go a certain amount of distance. So um, this is one, I think, universe. And then um, pathogens, which is probably... I can't, yeah, mechanic I haven't unlocked yet. So I'll just gain two rockets here. This should definitely start um, buffing production because of the, I think I should just start grinding rockets. That's, that's I, th I think the best um, strategy here. So it takes a little while, but it's really not too bad. I can just, I can look at a more achievements, like reach rank 20. Interesting. This is E8 rockets. Oh my God. And then reach tier five. The rank requirement formula is two and five percent slower. That that could be pretty overpowered. And then yeah, E five rockets and six normal six rocket fuel. How's that even gonna be possible? I, I, I'm gonna need a lot of I'm gonna need a lot of rockets for that. And does it looks like a lot of the other stuff I just don't understand at this point. So okay, I'm up to rank five, tier two should not take too long to start reaching um, tier three so I can start getting more rockets but yeah I, I do think this game is a little is spamming prestige everywhere and it's a little annoying and I guess the next mechanic is time reversal but in, anyway it looks like I need to get rank five rank six rank seven Rank eight, and yeah, this this is this is much easier, just because of two rockets. It makes it so much easier to progress. It still may be a little bit tough getting to um, rank eleven. Eleven. I don't think I can get rank twelve yet, unfortunately. Even though I really want that tier four, I'm just not sure if that's possible. I think I'm just gonna try to get some rockets here. I don't think it's that. I mean, it may be worth it to rank up to 11 so I'll, I'll probably do that yeah I'll, I'll rank up to 11 here and boom this should allow me to relatively easily get maybe three or four rockets and hopefully when I start getting more rockets I can start exponentially increasing my rocket gain per minute it's annoying that it doesn't say your rocket gain per minute here but whatever this game is, is sort of unpolished so I mean, it's, it's pretty new. I, I think this game was made just maybe like... It was started development maybe three months ago. So, yeah. Anyway, I can gain six rockets, which I think is a good amount. And I think now the game is going to start picking up. Because once I start yeah, tier one... Um, just the first the first couple upgrades take a while. But, or first couple ranks take a while. But once I get these ranks, it's going to get a lot faster so I so now I think the core gameplay loop is it's just about getting the best possible rockets per minute as possible and the rockets will help boost everything else so yeah I'm almost up to rank um, or tier 3 which shouldn't be too bad 222 kilometers and yeah this should be should be easy to at the very least, get a bunch of rockets, if not tier up to tier 4. So, yeah, I'm already at rank 9, rank 10. Rank 11 takes a little bit of time, but it's not that bad. And I think once I rank up to 11, it should only take about um, less than a minute to tier up. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and I have... 30 billion meters, which allows me to rank up to rank or to tier four. And yeah, wow, tier five needs rank 19 and it doubles intelligence gain. So 
It's actually going to do something outside its current mechanic, and I'm already up to rank 13. So, yeah, that's pretty powerful. The tier up is very powerful, and look how many rockets I've been able to get. That's that's actually pretty crazy. I, I don't think... Yeah, I'm nowhere close to ranking up again, so I should probably just gain something like 40 rockets. I'll gain 42 so I can have 50 rockets here, which actually doesn't increase this multiplier as much as I thought it was going to do. I thought it was going to be a lot more powerful than it, what it did, but I think this still should be very, very fast because that's still maybe a, like, 5 percent or not five percent like five times production or acceleration and maximum velocity boost so yeah i def i definitely do want to get up to tier four and yeah it's it is about five times faster than before so i was, I was almost exactly spot on wow i'm i must be good at that but yeah i think the next thing to go for is just another rocket fuel and which will mildly boost the effect of rockets and add more rockets to their effect. So, um, yeah, let's see. Here's here's tier four. And I'm not sure. Should I rank up to rank 14? I'm not exactly sure. It would take maybe 15 seconds to reach. So, um, yeah, I, I, think, I think I'll do it because it's, it's still going to be worth it. The maximum velocity is right now 100 billion meters per second approximately. And when I rank up here, it's now 286 billion meters per second. And this next rank up is actually does a bunch of stuff. It multiplies my acceleration and maximum velocity by n plus 1 to the 1.6, where n is your rocket fuel. So I think my rocket fuel, it's currently 1, but it will be 2. So 2 to the 1.6 is pretty good. That's like 3 times additional like there's after the like two and a half times for just ranking up so yeah i can gain enough rockets to get another rocket fuel so it will help me a little bit this achievement unfortunately doesn't have a, re a reward which is sad but whatever it's i guess it's just something i have to deal with and when i get the next rocket fuel acceleration will be 80 percent higher so yeah that's cool Th this mechanic looks like i just have to wait and uh, i mean it's okay it's just automation so like this is a better place to put like you know weights and because you can just play actively or you can play idle so actually i really like that and strangely enough it's 787 rockets instead of 625 rockets to um get another rocket fuel which is really weird so yeah anyway it, it, well, it's going to take a while to start getting the first few rockets, which is annoying. I I don't like the idea of just, like, this weight, or when you have a prestige, and then it barely boosts, like, a certain part of of the runs. Like, that, I, I don't like that. I, I, I want there to be, like, a good boost for resetting, or at least with, like, these forced prestiges, or semi-forced, where you... Or you can't progress until you actually prestige. So, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to tier 3, where, where I'll start getting rockets again. And I should be, should be able to pretty easily reach, um, like, a couple of rockets, which will start um, making progression sort of explode, you know. Okay, I can now gain two rockets from Prestige, and this should definitely help speed up progression as a whole. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to try to do to get to one light year. One light year is about 10 quadrillion meters. So, I mean, I, I think I got pretty close when I got up to like 20 trillion meters. So, it's, just, it's definitely going to take a, a while to to reach but hopefully i feel like time time reversal is going to be a pretty major mechanic that will definitely help things and there's also another prestige layer after this universal collapse whichever whatever that means so yeah there's a lot of stuff to look forward to and let's see i'll just i'm just i'm just gonna look at all of these up to like the eighth row so there is unlock the dark circle and get endorsed by infinity 
whatever that means. So, yeah, this is, there's a lot of just random stuff here. And, I mean, I don't really care about the, the theme, but this is a little bit, you know, all over the place. I mean, I, I guess this, that makes it unique. So, I, I shouldn't complain too much about it. And it doesn't really affect gameplay. And I don't really care about names all that much. So, yeah, it's, it's more just the gameplay. And... I mean, it's certainly interesting. It's not a lot of weights, but a lot of prestiges. So anyway, I think I do want to rank up one more time so I can get more rockets. Anyway, also the creator of this game is, is currently making a new game called um, The Prestige Tree. And people say The Prestige Tree is better than this. So perhaps The Prestige Tree will be a series. Not exactly sure, but it could be. So, uh, yeah, it looks like I'm going to gain, not exactly sure, I'm just going to gain six rockets. It's about the same as before, and it's, it's sort of boring, just, like, until I start getting, like, double-digit rockets. Because that that's where progression speed starts really um, increasing. So, yeah, the, like, the, these rank-ups are just a little bit, a, a little bit tedious. I mean, I it's not tedious because there's automation, but it's just, like... I don't know. If I feel like that the beginning of each sort of rocket run is a little bit slow, and I don't really like that. And also, I don't really like that it's based on um, upgrades like this. But I don't know. This is just my opinion. I may be criticizing this game too much. This game, I, I guess, is pretty good so far. And uh, yeah, there's. I think I'm just gonna start gaining more rockets. I'm actually gonna. I'm just going to end the episode here, and hopefully next episode I will um, gain a lot of rockets, more rocket fuel, and perhaps time reversals. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.